Good morning, heathens. Welcome to the cop car. Hello, good morning. On this episode of BTP TV, we're heading to Cordova, Illinois, to the Cordova racetrack to start sick summer. Today is not day one, it is test and tune day. We're heading down to meet Ricky at the Shell gas station and load my stuff up in his compact Ford Pro Fiesta STI WRX thing. Oh my god, is all this shit gonna fit? Probably not. I don't know. So, J Bo has offered his uh, Ubering skills to drop me off at Cordova, which is two and a half hours away. And I'm excited. So there's going to be 300 race cars on this event, and it's over the course of 500 miles between four tracks. One track has two days at it. Starts in Cordova. And Byron. Yeah, so test and tune at Cordova. Day one, Cordova. Day two, Byron, which is in Illinois on the Illinois-Wisconsin border, somewhere over in there. Uh, day three is Great Lakes, Great Lakes Dragway, which is over by our buddy's Rabbit Transit Garage. So we're gonna catch a hot and a cot and a shower there. That's with, by Milwaukee, right? Kinda what? by Milwaukee. Yeah. Uh, East Troy's where Jay's at. And then from there, you make a jaunt over to Tri-State Raceway in Earlville, Iowa, our home track. And uh, then after that, back to Cordova for the final day. So the goal is, the plan is, to try to release a video every night on these <laughs> days. So I'm going to try not to overfilm because I got a MacBook Pro to edit on that I don't know how to edit on and I know it's backwards from PC. Whatever. So I might not make a video at night. I might just frisbee that thing. But I did bring this, Jay. The cars? I thought I'd culture Ricky <laughs> on a road trip with the car's greatest hits. Let's see what he thinks about like that. that. So, yep, 300 cars racing. I don't know what Sick Ward's going to have, but there's, there's going to be a lot. If you see this before day three, Earlville, Iowa is going to be the place to be at the Field of Dreams if you want to see a lot of cool cars and play some baseball. So. Yeah. Oh. yeah, that's why you wanted the ball gloves, right? Yeah, I should have okay. brought my glove. I could, you know, we got plenty of time. Ricky can go throw down a barn burger pass and we could be done right away in the morning. Mm -hmm. Stop at a play it again sports, grab ourselves a glove. Oh, sure, hey, sure. maybe by the time we get to the Field of Dreams, my big mouth might be able to get a pickup game going. Hey, Cletus, well, you're, you're a captain. Pick teams. Or whoever's there. I think Mike Finnegan? No, maybe not him. There's going to be know, people there. Right. We're going to be there, and that's what matters, because we want to have fun. Right on. All right, I guess we'll see you if there's anything interesting. If not, we'll see you when we see Ricky. Shell Gas Station, Cordova. There he is, right there. And I seize him, Jay. There he is, old Ricky. <laughs> you ready? I am. <laughs> I was uh, getting followed in by the uh, Sixth Mag uh, Durango. Oh, cool. So they were following oh, really? a little bit. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. sweet. Oh, nice. Let's get you loaded up. Yeah. Right. Is that your jacket? Yeah. Let's go. Just in case. It might get a little chilly at night. Who knows? I always got each other for warm. <laughs> I tried to dress like you. Dips on the big spoon. I was going to wear that. I'm going to plan on wearing that shirt tomorrow. <coughs> I want to see if this 
shot. It's like a station wagon. We got it all. We got it all. We're ready. Cordoba, last time I was here, Ricky, it was like 1998. 1999, something like that for the Summer Nationals. Look at all of them cars. Oh, Mopar. Where did we go in there? I'm guessing down here where the gate's open. That's guess. why Ricky's got me as a co-pilot. I got the answers. I need you direction. got the questions, I got the answers. Right here, bud. Oh, this open gate. This, oh, this okay. gate that's open. That has the dragsters on it. Well, that's good. Cool. Cool. This is our first ever drag and drive event. Um, yeah. Don't trademark strike us for saying that. <laughs> but it's true. Oh, what do we do here? Well, we find ourselves here in the staging lanes to get tucked in at Cordova, Illinois' beautiful drag strip. And man, there's a really cool car right next to me. Check this thing out. And here's the owner. What's your name, sir? Jeremy Ortiz. And this is my 1995 uh, Nissan 240SX. It's beautiful, man. Is Thank that you. paint or is it a wrap? Uh, it's a wrap. It's uh, like black, matte, purple. Something or another. It looks black at night and purple yeah, in the day. It changes a little bit. We tried to imitate the uh, midnight purple from like the GTR. It's got a good look, man. I love the carbon fiber hood. Uh, what's it got in it? Yeah, so currently it's been through a few different stages, but right now it's an aluminum 5.3. Okay. Um, built motor, um, stock block, of course. And then uh, it's got a single bullseye uh, 88 millimeter uh, T4 turbo. Oh yeah, she's serious. You can tell it's a serious unit when the uh, the hater pipes in front of the tire here. Oh yeah, you got it tucked in there really nice, dude. Really clean. Yeah, that's my goal. Try to keep it clean, easy to work on. Yeah. So then you accomplish that. <laughs> Very cool. And then he's got his custom built trailer that he made for the event because uh, unlike Ricky, he doesn't have a station wagon to cram everything in. He's a hybrid. And it's got a pillow on the back of it, so you know it's gonna be chooching down the quarter pretty fast. What's your PB with this? Uh, last year, at the end of the year, it went 792. Nice. Quarter. Yeah, so we'll be uh, racing in the Street 275 class which uh, this car is an 850 cage, so that class is technically by the rules limited 850. Okay. So that's our plan is to- Dial it back. And... One, just, yeah, dial it back. One, we just wanna, this is our first one, so I just wanna make it through the week. Yeah. But uh, I'm a pretty competitive person, so if, if we get a decent pass dialed in tonight and uh, a good pass tomorrow, then we'll try to stay on course. There you go. Yeah. So you're running 28 10 fives then, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. the Pro 275. Yep. Yep. Are they uh, what, Mickey Thompson's? Yeah, yep. 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 Yeah, cool. they're just tucked away in the trailer. They take up a lot of space in that box. <laughs> I hear you. Well, sweet, man. And you have a uh, social media? Yeah, yeah. So Facebook is Jeremy Ortiz. And then um, my Instagram and YouTube is 240RTIZ. So it's a little play on the last name. So right. Yeah, we'll check that out quick. Type this shit in, folks. We'll get them started. All right. Well, thank you, sir. And we hope to enjoy our first Dragon Drive as much as you do. For Hopefully sure. nobody has any bad things happen. Let's make it through the whole week. Exactly. Let's Mangle. do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. See you a bit. Let's get teched in, Ricky. Um... Yeah. Yeah, that's the truth. Hang on. Okay, so I, I'm 
hope this is good. I figured it out last minute that I need to copy, but this has all my information on it, so I'm not going to do That's fine, yeah, the girls will be good. Okay. So we're going to do like headlights, taillights, yep. turn signals, and all that good stuff. Let's uh, tap the button. Headlights. Headlights work. Left turn signal. All right. Lee Iacocca would be proud with this man's vision, what he turned his creation into. We're sitting here with. Uh, my name's Jared uh, with Slow Ass Racing. Uh, it's a 1987 Chrysler, town and country. It is glorious. I've already renamed it to Old Hickory. <laughs> I like Old Hickory. <laughs> it's uh, what's all done to it, sir? Oh, well, it's, it's it's a Frankenstein of cars, but from these style of cars from the '80s, the old Daytonas, the Shadows, uh, the core parts of it. It's a 2.5 liter with a five-speed out of like a 90 Daytona. A little bit of head work done to it, some intake work. Got a big precision turbo on it. Uh, 1500 injectors so we're pumping some fuel but it's running on e85 um, suspensions out of a 91 daytona disc all the way around a bunch of stuff yeah <laughs> it's got a, a, a bunch of little odds and ends stuff that you know you kind of just throw in so so was it kind of a budget conscious build like it's cheap or yeah no parts budget? i had on the shelf just, just stuff we had laying around pretty much put them to good use I bought the car from a buddy of mine. Uh, he raced it. It had another 2.5 in it, 50 trim turbo, completely gutted, nitrous on it. He'd run 1230s, 1240s in it. Uh, the wife hated looking at it because it was ugly. So he took the motor trains out of it, offered it up for sale. Put it up for like 500 bucks. Nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted it. Finally, I told him, I said, what do you want for it? M you know, my price. He goes, mm -hmm. 100 bucks. Come and get it. Okay. Yes. So we bought the car, no interior on it, no motor, no trans. I had motor trans laying around. So we bought it from him. I bought it to be a winter beater. It's like if I put it in a ditch, I don't care. It's a hundred dollar car. <laughs> right. So what actually put the kibosh on that is the first winter I drove it, I drove it two times in the snow and it was so cold that I couldn't get the door to latch. These door latches are terrible when it's cold. So I did the basketball dribble with it, you know. So by the way, I'm like, you know what? I'm not driving this thing. And I just started falling in love with it put this into it bigger turbo and it's kind of become a hit i'm yeah. local i live right in the area and it's kind okay. of become a hit with everybody so i dig it it man. just progressed further and further and bought a new turbo before drag week 21 put that in there and you know we just uh we've had a blast with it so every season we do something different it's got a bunch of trick little parts on it air suspension in the back <laughs> for level control uh the big thing we did this year was rear suspension uh, it had a squat problem every time it would launch it would just drag the ass in on the ground so called up uh, viking suspension had some shocks done mm -hmm. redid the air suspension on it i could crank it up and this thing just sits flat when it launches so awesome we're gonna have a lot of good time with it this year so yeah well hey down in the comments let us know what you think of this car i think it's just freaking awesome Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, no, thank you for coming over. It's gonna be a good week. Oh yeah. This thing is baller, folks. Now don't get too close, you might get a sliver. Ooh. <laughs> Trailer. Shit, yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, check out his social media. It is slow ass racing, right? Yep. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, we're pretty fresh to the YouTube thing, so, but uh, go check us out. We got stuff on this car. We got a bunch of other cool stuff too you'd like. We got another Woody Wagon in the group that's uh, slightly bigger. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, Country Squire <laughs> with a six liter in it, about 1500 horsepower. Damn. Yeah, so go check it out. All right, Heathens, it's a Mopar. Flock over to his channel, get his numbers bumped up, give him a sub. Thanks, dude. Yep. Awesome. Later.
could be my future one day. I've seen your guys' YouTube before. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. Not anything as impressive as this. <laughs> What's yes. your name? Uh, Tony Wisman. Nice to meet you. Thank you. It's just a beautiful car, Thank man. Thank you. We finished it about 1:30 uh, in the morning. Been uh, working on it for 12 years. <laughs> so it's been, done, it's been done twice. The first time was messed up. So uh, yeah, we still don't have reverse. We're having starter issues. So as soon as we get through tech start tearing into it some more well <laughs> when we get to field of dreams i'm only 30 minutes away so if okay. you need like a mini starter or anything like that we just we just Mopar got some parts. wrap uh so we're gonna try to put a wrap on it we think it's getting hot yeah so. getting heat soaked yeah um yeah if you need anything okay now we'll be kind of close to that checkpoint okay. there at tri-state so thank you i appreciate it i got my 68 yeah just a couple months ago and I keep finding finger tight Jones has been all over that thing. <laughs> but I would love to be able to do something like this one day with it. Yeah, it's, uh, Hot Rods by Havilick out of Cedar Rapids is the ones that built it. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's freaking badass, yeah. dude. How did street drive, though, on the way here? We didn't drive it. We trailered it. Did you? Cause, okay. Yeah, because we finished at 1.30. We still haven't really checked anything, so... We drove it down the block, turned around, came back. Went straight. Went straight, <laughs> shifted into second. So it's like, okay, yep. load it up. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's a full interior car. It's yeah. fully interior. What are you expecting for times? You got a goal? Um, height. There you go. Yeah. So you're gonna try to get in that 850 class then, or probably not, because I gotta get my NHRA license first. Okay. So we didn't have time since we were falling behind. So um, we're hoping eventually, you know. Your dash looks way nicer than mine. <laughs> Your back seat too. A100 Headliner. seats. These are all the factory seats out of the car in 1969. Okay. Doors, fender, trunk lid, all factory 69. What gears are you running in the back? 389s. 389s? Yeah. It's got a two-speed power glide with a gear vendor overdrive. Okay. Oh, so, really? Okay. Yep. Yeah, nice. Yeah, as when I started building it 12 years or twelve years ago, it was going to be in the 10.5 class. Well, so that's why I did a two-speed, but now I just want to do this and drive it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So It's a slick unit, man. Thank you very much. One of the cleanest 69s I've seen. <laughs> Thank you. All your brake lights and turn signals and everything. Yep. Good to go. Yep. That's Everything's awesome. LEDs now. You got two mirrors. Yep. Shit, three. Yep. Oh, yeah. You're, you're spoiled. I went above and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome, man. Thank so you. hopefully you don't need anything. Yeah, we're hoping it's just, it's, you know, we think uh, the trans, uh, trans brake solenoid isn't kicking out. Okay. We think uh, we, that's what we're hoping. I got a brand new Cope Racing trans brake valve okay. body at the house. Okay. If you, I don't know if that's something that, I mean, you can drop the pan and switch them out, but yeah. I don't know about the wiring and stuff. But yeah. if, if we got something that can help you okay. keep going, awesome. All for it. I'll Excellent. grab you a sticker. Okay. Perfect. And a koozie. So. All right. It was a pleasure Thank meeting you. you. Thank you. You got you. social media? No, I don't. No. no. <laughs> he's just, he's just a legend out, <laughs> out in the ether. We're getting all sticked up. <laughs> I can't wait. This is gonna be awesome. Ricky, what's going on? Put my number on. Right, what, what's your number? I don't know yet. D59. D59F. Oh. Sounds like a winning number right there, buddy. 
when I saw this today, I was like, this guy. He's like, D59 up? That guy's a sure shoe in for top three. <laughs> Possibly. There's the ice cream truck. Oh, that's sick. Nice. Oh, that's sick. Oh, I'll, oh, suck, oh. I'll suck that. Let's find a place to camp. So we're, we're hunting on a camping spot. at the track she's a sweet unit don't look that great but we ain't going for perfection it's shelter this is our camp race car water gas scooter chairs shade tree sweet ass big black dart that you seen earlier now the hood's off of it Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna relax now. Ricky's been just busting his ass. <sighs> I make a pass today. We're gonna make a pass today. For testing tune, see where he's at. Whew. Look at that. There you go, there's your competition, Ricky. I think racing. All the way from Illinois. You never know. I like that exhaust he's got. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Here we go. Should have kept the, should have kept the patina truck. He's got a Mopar decal, so it must not have an LS in it. You all right? Yep. Watch where you're going, Ricky. Like the old uh, cop cars that people are getting out and about now. Yeah. Usually pretty those, cool. This uh, Caprice are become very popular. Yeah. Hey, ambulance track sweeper. We've seen our seen Narks Narks Narcoplex at Customs. Met him about two years ago in a live stream with uh, Ryan Wang from Streetcar Chronicles. And he is located at the orange tent in the middle of the tech and registration lines. If you have not been through tech and registration and you are not in the lanes for it at the moment, Barracuda. you need to drop what you're doing and go and see Keith Turk immediately. Huh? You spotted the orange that tent that is located yeah. at the middle of the 69 tech and registration Barracuda. Notch back. We do not want to end your week prematurely. So do us a favor, please make yeah. sure you go and see Keith Turner. I've never seen anybody that earned a Nacho Cuda sticker as much as this guy. 
You just have an eye for these things. I got a 68 dart, my brother in law's got a 73, so we're all Mopar no car. Oh, yeah. He's got a 73 duster. Yep. Well, we got a 74 duster, 68 runner, 68 charger, 79 cool. magnum. So, what's done to this car? Uh, what's this land? Six cars, a big block, four speed car now. Sweet. Short deck, high deck. It's a 413, 426, uh, 415 stroke crank to make it 470. Awesome. A33, uh, 834 with a 323 short grip. 323 is on. Yeah. Since we're driving on the street for a while, right? Yeah, and just, well, we got a good ton of A body parts. We got a 6,000 install converter. <laughs> um, we got a bunch of Mopar parts to stop at Field of Dreams. Okay, if you guys need anything, hopefully not. We're like 30 minutes from the Tri State stop, so right. cool. we got small bolt, big bolt, you know, we got, we got 28 ton of fives. All that shit. We got valve body and trading parts. Not much on the big block stuff, but but yeah, we got you if you need it. Sweet. Yeah, this thing is sweet. Hydraulic? It was hydraulic, it's now a solid. Now it's okay, cool. You got a headliner in it? Not yet. Perfect. <laughs> I got a magnet right here. Do you mind if I stick a camera in the car when you go down the track at all during the week? Yeah. Sweet. He's looking like, yeah. <laughs> no. Got money at this. Father son project? Uh, no. Don't worry me, I'm just younger than him. <laughs> <laughs> Project. <laughs> Where are you guys out of? Uh, down in Trouble, Illinois. Illinois? Yeah. Yep. Well, sweet. Oh, yeah. yeah, check that out. We got yeah. we got a lot of Mopar stuff, so. And we like horse trading with other Mopar guys. Keep it in the community, you know, yeah. and keep them going. So. Yeah. Look forward to you doing good, man. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. We need to get you to run. Has it ever been down the track? It's got five miles on it. It's got super stock springs on it. We got discs or drums up front with this. It's gonna run slow now. Um, 13s. I could see, well, what 323s? How much force do you think it's making? Not a lot because the heads are bad. Yeah, you think like in the fours? I bet, I bet high 12s, low 13s few times after he gets running it yeah he just has a trip in the car this is going to be funny so our 323 stroker 4 402 small block dart runs 1240s with 323s we, yeah with stick no just torque flight uh manual valve body from cope racing i'd rather have that yeah for drag racing yeah, yeah. I, I i think this is he should put 355s in with the four speed don't you think? He just, had, he just had all these parts. These are all parts he just had laying, laying around. around. Well, I picked up the rear end, the drum to drum, a month ago yeah. in Michigan. He just changed the part. I mean, this is all parts. Leftover crap. I love it. That's how it should be, though. I mean, build something out of nothing. And our Barracuda looks worse than this one. I mean, I'm not yeah. saying this looks bad, but. but it's five colors. At least this is mostly worn. <laughs> I, I more colors, but the best part about the car is the seats. Oh, yeah. The reupholster, that was it. Carburetor, he doesn't know anything about the carburetor. Just threw it on, it's painted gold. 
What is that? Space are all about. Oh, it just doesn't have a big body on it. Okay. It just looks weird. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So I know we're not in Texas. We're in Illinois. You can still get a damn walking taco. If anything, I think uh, walking tacos are a little bit superior. The, the management of the spillage is just top notch. Right. Worth it. If you see one, get one. That's all. That's all. That's all I needed to say. We spotted a wild giraffe up here. There's a large crowd of people. That can only mean one thing. There must be some kind of superstar down here. So you built the heathens. Right here we have a twin Turbski. Steve El Camino, Morris. right? Yeah, Steve Morris. Because uh, I'm I'm a Mopar guy. I, this is kind of out of my realm. It's a car truck. It's got two doors and two turbos and four tires, and it hauls ass. I've seen it before on the internets. It's pretty damn cool. And he can put the sticker on way better than I could. A little bit. Yeah. There's our buddies on the Barracuda. Right. Here's a good luck sticker for hey, you. We gotta go bolt tires on. Yeah, what's up, brother? Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> He's got a heathen certified sticker now. I told him it was good luck. Well, good thing we tested out the tires and rims right before they called up for testing tune because they don't fit, Ricky. It's an issue. We've had an issue before it started. We're going to try to tackle this issue and figure it out. Big old Beaver Island back there in the Mississippi River. We're on the hunt for lug nuts. Is that Disneyland over there? That big gold globe? Is that Space Mountain? I think so. Or is that an old nuclear plant and they capped it? Welcome to Iowa. Welcome to Iowa. So we're looking for lug nuts. Of all things. Yeah, so. I think up here is where Flavor Flav's chicken used to be. All right, um, the GPS was taking us like 10 miles down the road yet, and we just noticed there's an auto zone right here, right in Clinton. We found these will work. Those will work. It even says tuner. Tuner. So you know they're gonna work. With all, it's giving us all the tunes. Made in Cinco de Mayo. All right, back to uh, Cordoba. -ba. Going to the staging lanes. One pass. I'm gonna smoke you, fool. Hey, hey, you're cheating. Oh, Jesus. It's hard to do this one hand. Much slicker than this, other than snail snot, folks. <laughs> Sir, do, what, do you mind if I talk to you about your car quick? Not a problem. What's your name? Uh, first name Chuck, last name Sorensen. Uh, what year rig do we got here? 64 Plymouth Valiant. Wow, that doesn't is that that doesn't look factory in between the frame rails. No, on not at all. It's a early Gen 3 Hemi. Nice. Uh, that's board and stroke, the 410 cubic inches, a little over 7.0 7 liter, something like that. Uh, dual quant, Edelbrox, 500s on top. Uh, uh, inertia heads, 904 transmission, yep. comp cam. Rear end, 8 and 3 quarter. 8 and 3 quarter with 391 gears. Nice. Yep. When are you expecting to run today? Well, I was really hoping to get somewhere a little lower than like the 11s. Nice. But uh, air is really, really bad. It's terrible And right uh, the track is not liking me so much when I let go of the tranny button. So uh, <laughs> we'll, 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 we tamed it down a little bit and hopefully that'll help and I won't spin so much. 
Well, I love it, man. I hope you do good. Well, thank you very much. Um, we'll keep an eye out for you all week. Absolutely. If you need Mopar parts, I don't think I have anything for that. No, that's right. I got a lot. I, just in case, because not a whole lot of us here with a Hemi, so I got plenty of parts. Yep. I got a daily driver SRT8 home, at home. That's nice. We might be able to pull something off that for you. All right, I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you very much. Very awesome. Do you have social media or anything? Uh, what do we have? Facebook. We have Facebook. Uh, it's uh, CESDMS3. At AOL.com is my Facebook, and then I had Instagram, Chuck Sorensen. Awesome. You guys go make sure to check them out and uh, give them a follow, because this is a slick, slick ride. I love it. Thank you. I'm, I'm screwing around looking at Mopars, and here's my guy that I'm supposed to be following. and drink some water, I'm starting to get calf cramps. Oh. Alrighty, folks. This is the end of day zero. Got the laptop here. I got Ricky there and the cords out there. And we're done for today. And it's gonna be a whole new show tomorrow. So we hope you enjoyed the glimpse into uh, what six summer is going to look like the rest of the week. So leave a comment down in the comments to comment about how you think uh, the rest of this week's going to go. And then comment after that about, you know, how you don't think it's going to go. But don't yeah. jinx us. Yeah. That'd be rude. Just, just Ricky, not me. Jinx him into going faster. Is that a thing? I sure hope so. After this pass I made today, it can only go up from here. Yep. And let us know what was the what was your favorite interview. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Man, my calf muscles killing me. <laughs>